Now guys, uh, today, uh, today I will talk about cement retention again. Okay. And that's right. Uh, today, I will talk about cement retention again. And today's video is dedicated for the newbie. When I say newbie, I'm talking about those brothers. They're just finding out, finding out about cement retention and they have decided to give it a try. So, welcome. Welcome to the spiritual path. Welcome to the spiritual journey. I'm here to clarify. I'm here as a guide. I am here as a teacher to let you know that this journey that you have embarked onto, this journey that you have decided to hop into, I want you to know you, you are a baby. That's right. You are a baby, 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 baby. drinking for, from his mama's breast, a baby drinking milk. That's you on the spiritual path. You are a baby. So now, you hop on cement retention. Uh -huh. The reason you hop on cement retention, I don't know why you're here, but I know for sure that God has woke you up. I know for sure the creator, the person that I work for, he has woke you up because he has a need of you. He has to use you. So therefore, in order for him to use you, he has to get you right first. He got to get the mind right, the body right, the spirit right. He has to get all that right. And the only way for him to do that he has put you on a spiritual journey or a spiritual path. So, while you are on a spiritual path, without guidance, is going to be a problem because you don't know what you are getting into. That's why there are people like me, your guide or your spiritual teacher. That is why we are here. We work for the Mosai. That is why we are here making these videos, okay? So now, Let's talk about a baby. A baby decide to walk. The baby already made up his mind. The baby said, I'm going to walk. So the baby gets up. He put one step forward. The other step forward. The other step forward. And all of a sudden, the baby fall. Now the baby like, huh? What happened? What did I do wrong? The baby doesn't lose hope. The baby gets up again and try it again. One step forward, second step, third step, fourth, boom, the baby fall. The baby is like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> huh? What am I doing wrong? The baby gets up again without losing hope. Try it again. After six try or seventh or eight, the baby finally got it together. Now the baby is walking. Now, the same process. When it comes to baby learning how to walk, is the same process that you will face when you are on your spiritual journey. You hop on cement retention, you start to hold on to your seed, you go for seven days. After seven days, you relapse. Do you lose hope? Is it over? No. Just like a baby, you get back up again. You try it again. You pass the seven days, now you do seven days so seven days plus seven days that's 14 14 you have you have retained your seed for 14 days and all of a sudden you relapse again like oh uh, you went back to porn again you went back to fornicating again you went back to your old vomit again now you're like oh what's going on what's happening why am i keep failing you get back up again you try it again you fell again but the message for today is me as your spiritual guide do not lose hope keep trying just like the baby the baby finally got it the baby finally was able to walk without failing so is you do not lose hope now there's a scripture in the bible it talks about the spirit is willing but the but the flesh is weak you see you are coming from a a place where you were not operating in the spirit. You were not retaining your seat. You were watching porn back and forth, back and forth. So you did. You don't know nothing about the spirit. The only thing you know is the flesh. Satisfying the flesh. Watching porn, fornicating, smoking, drinking. You are satisfying your flesh. So your body got used to that. Your body doesn't know nothing about the spirit. So now, our father, the Mosai, he has woke you up 
and he told you, hey, my son, enough is enough. Do not operate in the carnal anymore. Hop on self-improvement journey. Hop on semen retention. And now you start to hold, hold, you start to retain your semen. You start to hold in, holding on on your semen. So the message for today is you have to know that your spirit is willing. Your mind is ready to do this. Your mind is ready to keep the laws. You are ready to hold on to the seed. But your flesh, because it got used to being satisfied, is weak. Just like a baby, the baby gets up. The baby already made up his mind. I'm gonna start to. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna learn how to walk. I will walk. The baby's mind already made up. I'm gonna walk. But the body of the baby, what happened? Is weak. That's why the baby keep on falling. So is you. Your flesh is weak, but your mind is ready. Your spirit is ready. Your soul is ready. So if you relapse, bro, don't give up. Do not lose hope. Get back up again. I have a friend of mine. He's not a friend of mine. He's like a little brother to me. Every time he relapse, every time he will go back to his old vomit or his own vomit, he will call me. He say, man, it's like God don't want me to retain, man. I don't know what's going on. I keep relapsing, man. What's happening? And he starts to print fingers. He starts to blame, right? I don't want you to be like him. If you relapse, take a full accountability. Claim that thing. You know what I'm saying? Own it. I have relapsed. The reason I relapsed is because I did this and did that. So therefore, learn. Another thing I want to talk about relapse. When you fall, when you relapse, you have to know that is how you get experience. That is how you learn experience. That is how you get experience. You can do all the talking like me. I can come here and make videos like, yeah, semen retention, man. Female attraction, man. If I don't have experience, what happened? I will fall. I will relapse. I will go back to my old vomit. I was talking all that talk and all of a sudden, I'm watching, I'm, I'm out there smoking weed. All of a sudden, I'm out there fornicating. All of a sudden, I'm out there watching corn. Do y'all get what I'm saying? So, experience is everything. Experience is everything. I'm going to repeat that again. Bruh, the reason you are relapsing is okay. That is how you gain experience. Experience is everything. You need experience. Think about this, right? Uh -huh. Somebody come to you and say, hey, bro, you see that right there? That's fire. Don't put your hands there. Now, you, you never experienced your hands being burned, right? You have no clue about how your, your finger will feel if it touch fire. Until one day, you put your hands on that fire. It burns you. And when it burns you, what happened? Now you're like, oh, man, I can't touch that because it burns me. Look, look what happened to my hand. Now you have experience. That is why you need to relapse. That is why you must fall. That is why the baby keep on falling to gain experience. Because experience is the true lesson under the sun. Okay? So now, this is what I got for you today. Hopefully, y'all glanced something out of this. Hopefully, y'all gained something out of this. If you have any story, if you have any thought, if you have anything to say to... I mean, anything to say about this video, bro, put your thought on a comment description because there are some brothers, they be reading this comment. They might learn something from you. You get what, you get what I'm saying? So now, like I said, this is what I got for you today. I left my cash up in the description. I also got my PayPal here. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. Abu Baka. No limit, I'm a soldier. My flesh got wicker. Game over. Shorty hit me up about a week ago. Week ago, the devil in disguise trying to slow me down. I'm like, no, cause you know I gotta go. Running from the devil, boy, you saying bo. Turning six and two or nine, people starting wondering. I'm gonna get what's mine, ain't no need of apology. Man, I power up, man, I'm feeling like I'm Hercules. If you got a soul, I know damn right you feeling me. 1995, that's the year that they born me. My mama told me as a riot, write a story.